Testing. Testing. I wonder if watching dust feels fast when we are old. When I was little, I remember going to bed before the sun was down. I could even hear kids still playing outside. At that time, I was a serious roller skater. And I was good, I thought. I entered a race and started out fast. Then suddenly I couldn't move. It was like in a dream when you're trying to run and you're paralyzed. That was the day that I learned I was not a good roller skater. I was a good runner. I used the stoppers to launch forward. I lost a stopper. I stopped skating. I started drawing crooked bodies. I didn't think they were good, but someone else did. I said he could have them. So he said he made the crooked bodies and people believed him. I can still draw the crooked bodies. They are imperfect and not boring. And they take a long time to see fully. Sometimes I get lost in the lines and I see a tree or a bat. What do you see? I wonder whose graffiti will outlast us? I wonder if we added heavy metals to our ink, would it never fade even when the cardboard degrades? One time I sat beside a sad man in a waiting room. He was watching the caged birds, but his head was down, chin against his chest, barely breathing. His chair wheels were locked. He wasn't going anywhere. I wondered if he was bored. I was. I thought, how boring. You're not even watching the birds. And you're not snoring, just staring away the hours. Then I felt him feel lonely. I wondered if he lived through someone else and not himself. Then that person went away and left him like a speaking doll, shut off. And then the nurse wheeled him away and I entered my grandmama's room where she laid with her mouth wide open. I thought she was singing, but it was more serious than that. Bored would have been better. She pointed at a plastic flower that never changed. It smelled like nothing. I shook off the dust. That upset her. She coughed. I sneezed. Now she would have to watch the dust gather all over again, feeling time. I wonder if watching dust feels fast when we are old. What is on the other side? If you climb the hillside staircase, what will you find? Jack and Jill climb the hill to fetch a pail of water from a flooded cellar. And then Jack fell in and cracked his chin and Jill mended it with well mud and the mud made him well as well. Last year I woke up spitting on my pillow. My mouth was blood filled because a tooth fell out. Then I read that this dream warns the sleeper of change. Deciduous, it said, means to shed. So I decided to focus instead on the thoughts inside my head. I got a dress and learned to make beds and mess them up. On the springy ones, I would buck like a horse and neigh loudly. It felt serious if I were a horse, but I was not. And then I got caught. 
So I focus instead on lofting the sheet to fall perfectly on the form. Sometimes I would loft the seams against the inside and have to start over so crooked bodies beneath the sheet would feel the smoother side of the two.